welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my beauty routine. I am in no way, shape, or form an expert on anything beauty related, hair, makeup, um, but I think it's fun to see what other moms are doing on a day-to-day -day basis who aren't experts and see just some of the products that they're using. But I'm going to share, you, share with you guys how I do my hair, how I do my makeup, and some of the products that I use. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is washing my hair. I wash my hair at nighttime because I take my showers at nighttime. I love the feeling of getting into bed, feeling nice and clean. Um, and I just have found that knocking that out at night helps the next day, getting ready for the day, go so much quicker. So I always take my showers at night and I don't wash my hair every night. I wash it just when it feels dirty or when I need to have it clean the next day for you know whatever is going on but when I do wash my hair we use the Acure brand this is the conditioner not the shampoo but we use both the conditioner and the shampoo it's non-toxic paraben and sulfate free and we really like this so we use the shampoo and conditioner of this and I also add a couple drops of tea tree essential oil all I do is pour a couple or pour the shampoo into the palm of my hand then pour one to two drops of tea tree essential oil into that shampoo, mix it up, and then do my thing. And then I also do that with a conditioner. And it's really good for your scalp to keep it healthy and it helps to moisturize your hair. <laughs> when I get out of the shower, I put lotion all over my body. Cannot stand the feeling of having dry skin. If you guys have any non-toxic, um, body lotions that you really like other than the Acure, I don't like the Acure very much so if you guys have any suggestions for body lotion let me know but this is what I've been using and then for my belly because I'm 31 weeks pregnant I've been using the Earth Mama Belly Butter and I just rub that all over very moisturizing and um, I swear by this stuff at night before I go to bed I also use deodorant and I have been using a paraben and aluminum free deodorant it's a non-toxic uh, natural deodorant and let me tell you so I used to be a die-hard clinical strength fan because I needed it like I felt like I needed it I, at the end of the day I it wasn't cutting it I have been on this non-toxic journey of ditching and switching like the toxic products that I've been using with some non-toxic alternatives but deodorant was one of those things that I was not about to ditch and switch because if I was having a hard time with the clinical strength there was no way that a natural deodorant was going to do the trick but I heard and read that aluminum is very bad for you and especially while you're pregnant and I didn't want that in my body so I decided what's the harm in giving it a shot if it doesn't work I'll just go back so this video is actually in partnership with Native, but I have been using Native for quite a while now and have loved it. It seriously works better, and I can't make this up. It seriously does work better than the clinical strength that I was using. I don't know why, I don't know what the difference is, but um, I will never go back to using anything other than a natural deodorant because it seriously does the trick the first time that I put it on for like maybe a week and a half to two weeks I was feeling like really tender in my pits and so I thought oh no something is not right this is not gonna work out for me but I stuck it out and what I realized is it was like the toxins coming out of my body from all of the bad deodorant that I had been using um, so yeah I am using the lavender and rose scent it's amazing it works I can't make it up ask Andrew <laughs> um, and if you guys want to check it out I have a 10% discount for you in the description box below just click on that link and you'll get 10% off I like to let my hair half air dry I feel like the less heat that I have to put on my hair the better for it but at the same time I have kind of curly hair and so if I don't blow dry it it'll kind of turn into some stringy ringlets and that is not the look I'm going for so I let it half air dry um, but when I get out of the shower and my hair is still wet I use some argan oil. I've been using this for years and I really do feel like it helps a lot. As soon as I run out of this bottle, I'm going to try the Young Living's Marah um, hair oil because it's non-toxic and I just am trying to, like I said, ditch and switch all that stuff. But for now, I'm using this one. All right, now I'm going to show you how I blow dry my hair. It is not anything fancy. I don't 
um, divide it or anything. I have pretty thin, fine hair, so this method pretty much works for me, but if you have a lot more hair, then you're gonna wanna do it in sections and divide it out and blow dry sections of it, but I just don't find that I have to do that. minutes it's super fast but I need to plug in my curling iron and all that so while that's heating up I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup so first thing in the morning before I put my makeup on about maybe 30 minutes or so before I put my makeup on I wash my face with the Acure cream cleanser and then I have some DIY facial products that I have made myself using essential oils this is a toner and after I wash my face I'll spritz this on my face and let it air dry onto my skin, but it has patchouli, lavender, frankincense, and copaiba, and then I fill the rest of the bottle with unscented, alcohol-free witch hazel. And then after that has dried, I go in with my DIY facial serum, and this is the only moisturizer that I use. But this has the same exact essential oils in it, the patchouli, lavender, frankincense, and copaiba, but then I fill the rest of this bottle, I fill the rest of the bottle up with rosehip seed oil. And I just put a couple drops, put like four drops on my face and then rub that in. And then I wait about 30 minutes or so before I do my makeup to let it kind of soak into my skin. The first step to putting on my makeup is using a good primer to fill in the pores and help my makeup just sit on my skin a little bit better. I like the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I just put about that much on my finger. and dot it on my face and then rub it in. I focus a lot on the T-zone where my pores are a little bit larger. And then once that's on, my foundation that I use, that I swear by, I've tried to switch it out and go with different brands, but I always come back to this one because it's my favorite. It's the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. My shade is 3.0. And I just put it on one of these brushes like this. So I just want to shake it up first. And then I just put it directly onto my brush. So bring it down into my neck to help blend. I still wanna come over cause I know that it's not too late. After that, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and I use the Anastasia of Beverly Hills um, Brow Powder Duo. This is in Ebony. And it's got two different colors, a lighter and a darker, which is great because I like to keep the inner portion of the eyebrow a little bit lighter than the outer. So I kind of just like blend it and tweak it however, um, depending on what portion of my brow I'm working on. And then I just use an angled brush like this. This one is from Sephora. 
and honestly the numbers have been rubbed off I've had it for so long but any angled brush will do this one's just my favorite so I go in with a little bit of both of the colors and then let's see if I can do this on camera without like being super close up on you guys Now I'm going to move on to my eyes. So I use a concealer. It's the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And I use the shade Light Neutral. And I just go ahead and put some like so. And then I come in with a beauty blender and then I blend it out. And I even bring some up to my eyelid to help prep my eyelid for eyeshadow. And I bring it down around my nose. This area, especially while pregnant, tends to get a little bit red. So there's one eye. And I have a little broken blood vessel right here. I've had it for years, but when I get pregnant, it sticks out super bright. So I go ahead and cover that as well. And then I always like to set my under eye concealer. That way it doesn't move around, helps it not to crease and stuff like that. So I use the Kat Von D in shade light contour palette. And I'm going to go in with these two colors. You can see that this is the color that I use the most often. So I use the majority of this, but I also blend it with this one as well. And I just use this brush. It's a MAC brush. There we go. But for eyeshadow, I use the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. This is not even what the packaging looks like anymore. This is a really old one. <laughs> um, but this is my favorite. So here is the colors that it comes with. And I'm going to use this one first. It's called Nudie. And then I just use, this is another brush by Sephora. The numbers are gone off of it. Um, but this is... This is what he looks like. <laughs> so I just get a whole bunch on there and this is going to be like my base color. Start in the outer corner and then work it in. Super simple. And now I'm going to blend two colors for the like more inner portion of my eyelid. I'm going to do this one with this light pink color. It, this is like a light gold and then this is a pink. I'm just going to blend the two together. And then I just apply it to the inner corner at first and then spread it out a little bit, maybe halfway. And then I'm going to come back in with this brush and with whatever's left on it, I'm going to blend these two colors together. And 
there we go that's all the eyeshadow that I put on I keep it super simple because I just feel like that's the most me now I'm gonna do I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to capture this on camera but I'm gonna do my eyeliner I am a super super cheapo when it comes to eyeliner I honestly have never had an expensive eyeliner because the cheap ones do the trick for me this one I get a different brand every single time too but I always get it in black um, this is Maybelline Master Precise by iStudio, and it's a liquid eyeliner. And then I do like to wing it out a little bit. So I follow the natural curve of my bottom lid, um, and I just follow that up. super precise um, but that's just how I do it and it just it turns out every every time pretty much so I have a little winged eyeliner there I'm gonna do my other eye off camera spare you all the details moving on to mascara this is my secret I get this question all of the time I don't like using false lashes I think they're uncomfortable and honestly they just don't look good on me um, but luckily I have been blessed with pretty decent lashes but this is what I use to make them just pop so much more this is the L'Oreal voluminous primer and this is my secret so this is what I go within first to help then make the regular mascara work its magic dry just for a little bit I don't want it to dry too hard but I also need them to dry just a little bit so I'm gonna move on to contouring and blush for contouring I'm gonna again use the Kat Von D shade light contour palette and this time I'm gonna blend these two colors together the majority of what I use is this but then I do add a little bit of a lighter shade and this is just a cheap elf brush it's an angled brush this is the brush I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of this and then some of this. And I'm gonna put it underneath my cheekbones in like the hollow. I'm going to bring some up to my hairline area. And even bring a little bit down to my jawline to help define my jawline. And now I'm even going to contour my nose. So this just helps kind of slender out my nose a little bit. And I've just noticed a huge difference in doing this. So I just use this middle color and then I use a fluffy little brush like this. And what I do is I create two straight lines and then I'll come around and add some more shadow. And then put a little bit underneath. Now that my eyelash primer has dried a little bit, I'm going to go in with mascara. I use the L'Oreal Voluminous. I usually use the Carbon Black, but they were out when I went to go buy it. So this one is an original. I just don't like it as much because it's not quite as black black as the Carbon. Um, but yeah, L'Oreal is the mascara that I like to use.
always make a huge mess with my mascara. If I move my eyes at all, I get them up top, I get mascara down below. So this happens every single time. So I just let it dry and then I'll go in with a Q-tip after it has dried and it just flakes right off. Okay, so that is it for my eyes. I keep it super simple. I have done the contour on my cheeks and nose and now I'm gonna go in with some blush. The blush that I use is by Becca Cosmetics in Flower Child. I've used this for forever. Super pretty and very pink. And then this is a brush by MAC. It's the 187 SE. It's the one that I use for blush. And then I just put it on very lightly onto my cheekbones. big old glob of mascara. <laughs> I'm telling you I'm a mess. All right, so that's it for blush. Um, and then another thing that I like to do is a little bit of highlight. Like, don't go overboard with this at all. But I use, again, Becca Cosmetics. This is the Shimmering Skin Protector Perfector um, in Pearl. Gosh, all of that to say. The shade is Pearl. And I broke this the day after I bought it. So it looks like that. <laughs> I have no idea where this brush is from, but it's a it's a really big fluffy brush. I just go in with the tiniest amount of highlight, the tiniest amount. And then I just do the very, very tip of my cheekbones. And then I do a little bit on just the inner portion so like I said, to get mascara off of places it's not supposed to be, just use a Q-tip and go in and it should come right off. I have two more steps to my makeup and then I'm done. This, I promise you, does not usually take me this long. It takes me maybe five, mm, I'd say more like 10 minutes every day to get my makeup done. It does not take me this long, but it does take a little bit longer doing it on video. So for my lips, this is also another question that I get is what lip shade and brand of lipstick that I use. First thing that I, that I use is this Morning Coffee Pro Longwear Lip Pencil by MAC. It's in the shade Morning Coffee. And I outline my lips with this. I also, I forgot to mention that after I wash my face and moisturize my skin, I then moisturize my lips as well. I use the Young Living Lavender Lip Balm to do that. So I just outline my lips. I kind of overline the top just a teeny tiny bit. the lip liner and then I'm going to go in with MAC Creme Sheen, Cream Sheen, I think it's Creme Sheen in the color Modesty. This is the only lipstick that I use all day every day. And there you go. So the final step to my makeup other than lipstick being my all-time favorite makeup product ever that I cannot live without, I also cannot live without this makeup setting spray. It is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and this just helps to literally set your makeup onto your face. I feel like we've put all of these levels and layers of makeup on, and this just helps them all kind of blend into one beautiful look. So cannot live without this stuff. And there you have it. That is the finished look. I should have totally put my hair up. What was I thinking? 
I do not have any fancy tools. Literally none of the tools that I have for doing my hair are fancy, expensive, pretty much probably just got them from Target. Um, so the straightener that I use is by the brand Remington. I'm going to be curling my hair, but like I said, I have a little bit of a wave and some fluff to my hair. So I like to just straighten the very ends and then here by my ears. For the actual curling, I'm going to put all of my hair on top of my head in a ponytail. Doesn't have to be cute, it's coming down later anyways. So I just wrap my hair in the ponytail twice. And then what I do is from there, I take sections of my hair and I'm going to curl the hair that's in the ponytail. The curling iron that I'm using is a Conair, <laughs> super cheap. And I actually start from the top and work my way down. I learned this from a friend who was a hair hair stylist, um, and it just helps you get an even curl throughout. Once I have curled one piece, I let it out and then I re like re curl it in my hand and let it cool off. Otherwise, it'll just fall straight out. Here we go. There's one. Now that the ponytail is curled, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Take it out of the ponytail and part it where I want it. There is just a little bit of a crease here, but that will totally go away. It'll fall out in just a little bit. And then I go underneath because these parts just don't seem to get curled very well. So I go underneath and I'll just curl the parts that need to be curled. Okay, and then because I curled all of my hair the same direction in the ponytail, this part right here is curling in towards my face and I don't want that. I want it to curl away from my face so I just take the part right here and then curl it away from my face. And then I'm just gonna go in and spray a little bit into my hair of hairspray. I'm just using the Aussie, um, I think this is level three. Just using whatever hairspray that I have. I'm not super particular about the brand because I don't use that much. Um, but I'll just kind of put a little bit in just to help hold the curl. These are super loose curls, but I like that. Just got myself in the eye. 
And there you go. That is how I curl my hair super easy, super fast. It literally takes 10 minutes max to curl my hair like this. So there we go. Sometimes I like to flip a little bit extra over just to give it a little more oomph. But there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how another mom does her makeup and her hair super quickly and super fast. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I used or how I did something, please feel free to ask me in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you with the answer to that. And then do not forget the good old native deodorant. Don't be afraid to try it, seriously. I wish that I hadn't waited so long because my life sounds um, a little bit extreme, but my life seriously has been changed forever when it comes to deodorant. And I will recommend this to everybody, including my mom. And then like I said, I'll have a link in the description box for you guys to get 10% off. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more from me and my family. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.